up, there I am on the news yelling at passing cars about Harry Potter, and there I am again texting people. Hi. So I have to say this week has been a very Potter week. I dedicate this video to Harry Potter. Note the shirt, which is in like German or something. I don't know why. So on Tuesday, Matt Lewis, who plays Neville Longbottom, was supposed to be downtown um, going to much music to do um, a show slash interview type thing and then heading to the Scotiabank Theatre for the premiere, which is like right across the street, and then going to Casa Loma. So I got up at like 8 a.m., took the subway, got to Scotiabank Theatre around 10, 15, and waited outside. I mean, we were there for about eight hours before we ever saw a glimpse of him. He didn't even get out of the car for the Scotiabank Theater. He was out of the car for much music, but he just kind of drove by, which was exciting. I mean, even though I didn't get to meet Matt Lewis, it was pretty damn awesome because I was surrounded by so many Harry Potter fans and so many people who knew of Harry Potter musical and sequel and we were singing it and then we were shouting and screaming and it was just so cool. After a while, news people started showing up, as you can see from the beginning of the video, and I probably spent every single interview telling them that I am in love with Severus Snape. And then Warner Brothers and people started coming out to promote stuff, and I got stuff like free, extremely large Harry Potter t-shirts. Um, this poster that really got crumbled on the way home because I decided to roll it up and stuff into my bag and that was not a very good idea. Uh, a coke truck came by with free coke, and I mean the drink, not the drug, and free Harry Potter stuff, randomly. And Kiss925 came by, sunglasses, and a frisbee, which I I'm probably never going to use because I do not like to go outside and play. The coolest thing I got was definitely this a ticket to see the Tuesday Toronto premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which was awesome because it was two days before it was coming out, and this ticket is so super secret that it doesn't even say Harry Potter on it. I'm definitely going to frame it. I spent the mid- Majority of thir so I'm trying to fix a snitch. The wing came off. I spent the majority of Thursday running around my house trying to find stuff for my Slytherin costume. Most of it was my mom's clothes, uh, the skirt and the cardigan, and I also had a nice pair of bitch boots. You can't really see, but I had this pinned to my skirt the entire time. The midnight premiere was awesome though they let- I got there at 9, not gonna lie, I didn't even get there early. But I only waited in line for 5 minutes and then they were like, okay everyone who has a ticket for Auditorium 6, go the hell in! And so we sat there for 2 hours. And some random people and I decided to run onto the stage at the front of the theater and have a wizard's duel. We got kicked off the stage after a while. I didn't hear him at first. Apparently he was yelling at us the entire time, but we finished and then I could hear him be like, get off the stage! And I was like, fuck it! I ran off the stage. So that's enough about my Potter week. I should probably get onto the challenges right about now. For my Oud instrument, uh, I have a harmonica, which I got from my grandfather and never learned how to play. There are instructions here, which are really kind of dirty. I mean, it says, um, how to play single hole and single sound. Touch the hole with lip and then move the harmonica like blowing a whistle. Okay, that's not so bad. But then multi holes and single sound. Deeply contain four holes with mouth. Plug up three left holes with tongue, leaving the last one open. Keep the state of tongue and mouth, then move harmonica to pali. It actually says pali here. Of course, it's made in China. As I said before, I have no idea how to play this thing. The instructions say to hold it kind of like. What is it? This? Uh, this is counterintuitive and very uncomfortable, so I'm just gonna hold it like this, like amber. And my song is gonna sound a bit like this. Ta da! I created a masterpiece. And a doodle onto my uh, talent. That was a really stupid thing to challenge when I don't think I have any notable talents. But I think I'll just do my thing. Thang. Thang is a very nerdy thing. It involves covering my eyes like so. Okay. 3.14159265358979323846264338327950289528. And that is all I know, and now I'm gonna take this off because it's starting my eyes. I learned that like five years ago, and it's only come in handy twice. Once was in first semester calculus, 
when I recited it and then got a high five from my math teacher. And the second time was now. And that is all I have. So, Tabitha, I will hopefully see you next time you make a video. <laughs> and Daisy, I will see you tomorrow because it is currently Friday. And we're going to the Science Center on Saturday. Hopefully, if we can ever work out this plan. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.